YouTube, it's Zabler's Tishi G here. Welcome back to our Tishi G Jack profile video on my channel. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a post rotation list for Goldango EX with Palkia V-Star. This deck is actually incredibly good after rotation with the loss of Path to the Peak. So stick around to learn which 60 cards are gonna be in this exact deck list. But first of all, be sure, of course, to check out my sponsors. There is dragonshield.com. If you're looking for sleeves, binders, and deck boxes, you can get 5% off using the coupon ZAPDOS5 over at dragonshield.com. There's also uh, yourplaymat.com to create your own custom playmat like this one, for example. They ship worldwide, so definitely check it out. And you can get 10% off by clicking that link down below. There's also uh, potownstore.com to, of course, get TCG Live code cards. You can use the coupon code ZABDOCCG to get 5% off on everything on the website. And if you're a European player, you can, of course, head over to cardmarket.com for all your needs. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe, and you can use the referral name ZABDOCCG to help support the channel. With that being said, we're going to be talking about Goldango today. This is going to be a post-rotation uh, deck list with cards from Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces comes out on, of course, the 22nd of March worldwide. And in this video, we're going to be checking out Gold Dango because, yeah, Gold Dango is a very great card with coin bonus. You're going to be able to draw two cards if it's in the active position. When it's on the bench, you can also draw a card. So that's actually pretty damn good. We also have Make It Rain, 50 damage for every basic energy we're willing to discard from our hands. So uh, that's going to be very impactful. You're going to be able to one-shot most targets in the format when you have enough energy. So in this particular 60, we're going to be playing, uh, of course, the maximum of four copies of Goldango. Goldango is going to be our main attacker in this deck. So we need a maximum of four copies. Then moving forward, we're going to be running four copies of Gimme Ghoul. I personally currently am running three copies of Gimme Ghoul and then one copy uh, of the 70 HP Gimme Ghoul. You can go either way, but the cool thing is that this guy has a two retreat cost while uh, this guy can have Call for Family to get another basic out, which I find uh, really strong. Uh, definitely in a format where Lost Box is not the most popular deck anymore. So I think that's actually not too bad going with three copies of this one and then a 70 HP one. So uh, let me know how you guys feel about the split line of the Gimme Ghouls. Are there any other better Gimme Ghouls out there? I personally don't think so. I think I'm going to be going for three copies of the 50 HP one and a copy of the 70 HP one. Then our secondary attacker is going to be Palkia V-Star. Palkia V-Star is still a formidable attacker with subspace while slapping seven, uh, 60 damage plus 20 more for every bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. So uh, capping out at 260 with both uh, players having a full bench. Very solid damage output. You're going to be able to KO uh, opposing uh, Goldango EXs. You're going to be able to knock out Roaring Moon EXs, etc. So it's actually not that bad of an attack. Then there's subspace well, allowing it to accelerate three water energies from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you like. And that's going to be super nice to power up stuff like Radiant Greninja and a deck like this to take two prize cards with the Moonlight Shuriken attack. So uh, with two copies of Palkia V-Star and uh, we're also needing two copies of Palkia V in order to, of course, evolve uh, and going for that uh, uh, V-Star stage with Palkia V-Star. So uh, a 2-2 two -two line is very good for the Goldango deck. You might think, oh, a 1-1 one, one line is also sufficient, but uh, when there's one of them prized pieces, I actually just don't think it's actually pretty good. So uh, that's why we're going for a 2-2 two, two line. And also in this list, I'm actually playing a one-off Squack ability. We're going gonna get to that, but first of all, there's gonna be Radiant Greninja and Manaphy. Radiant Greninja, very nice. Not only does it draw cards on top of coin bonus, so you have coin bonus and concealed cards to draw. It's gonna be nice in the early game to get you through the game with stuff like Irida fetching, of course, uh, Radiant Greninja and a Buddy Puffin to get two of the Gimme Ghoul out. And Manaphy protecting your weak HP Pokemon. The cool thing is that Moonlight Shuriken is a very deadly attack in, of course, this deck, being able to KO two weak HP Pokemon. Think about something like PG Charmander, Confei, two Fridgey Bags, you name it. Raging Greninja is going to be doing uh, crazy work in there. And then uh, we're also going to have a Squack ability for the early lead. Sometimes this deck might have a slower start, and that's why uh, I'm a big fan of playing one copy of Squack ability, just to make sure you get into the game. If you don't get into the game, you just uh, don't uh, win games. So uh, that's your safety net with a one-off Squack ability. Then for the supporters, we're going to be playing three copies of Irida. Irida fetches yourself a Water-type Pokemon as well as an item card. So in the early lead, this is going to be one of your strongest supporters, being able to fetch something like Radiant Greninja and a Body Body Puffin. With Body Body Puffin, you're going to be able to get uh, two Pokemon with 70 HP or less. So uh, that's going to be fetching your gimme goals out of the deck very nice and easily. Also, uh, you can get Palkia V-Star with the Irida, which is actually not too bad. 
Then a new supporter, Cryptomaniacs Deciphering, allowing you to put two cards from your deck on top of the deck. This is one of the decks that I love using this card more and more because of the fact you do have access to the coin bonus. You instantly draw the cards you want. How powerful is that? Whether you're looking for Prime Catcher and Cologne combos or whether you're looking for some more energy uh, retrievals, it's gonna be fantastic with Cryptomaniacs Deciphering, putting it on top of the deck so you can instantly draw them out. How good is that? Then two copies of Boss's Orders. Uh, once you have your uh, draw uh, situation under control, you're gonna be able to uh, gust some stuff up and one-shot them. That's what Goldango does best. And then a one of Roxanne, putting the opponent in a situation where they have a low amount of hands uh, in, the, in the late game. As soon as they have taken three prize cards, go to the Roxanne, make sure they brick and just overrun them with the coin bonus and then slapping it down would make it rain, one-shotting their attacker. Then, Four copies of Nesball. I'm playing a maximum amount of four copies of Nesball because I personally believe in a deck like this, finding something like Radiant Greninja to get yourself in the game is very strong. You might also go Nesball Gimme Go, but it's stronger to go Nesball uh, Greninja and then try to find maybe a Buddy Buddy Poffin or something else. Uh, with a, this amount of Pokemon in hand, I think also it's nice to fetch out a Palkia V to threaten a turn to uh, Moonlight Shuriken of the Radiant Greninja. On top of that, uh, we're going to be playing uh, three copies of the Buddy Buddy Buffin. Uh, the Buddy Buddy Buffin is a new item card allowing you to get two Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them down on the bench. So uh, that's going to be fantastic uh, to get your gimme goals out ASAP. Then... Three copies of Ultra Ball. This fetches everything from the deck, whether you're looking for turn one squackability because you're bricking or to get a gold dango out, the Ultra Balls are going to be fantastic. Uh, then there's a, a one copy of the Hisuian Heavy Ball. Sometimes Raiding Greninja is prized. Sometimes the Squackability might be prized. Uh, if you have Heavy Ball, you might be able to get, of course, a Pokemon from your prize cards. And uh, sometimes that could be crucial. So think about a Manaphy that might be prized. You definitely need that in specific matchups. Then four copies of the Superior Energy Retrieval, allowing you to, of course, get uh, four energies back from your discard pile. And as mentioned, Make It Rain discards a lot of energies, so uh, you will be able to uh, get them back easily with Superior Energy Retrieval. On top of that, there's also going to be one copy of Energy Retrieval uh, to help on top of the four Superior Energy Retrievals to get energies back from the discard pile, so Make It Rain can then dish out more damage once more. This is uh, getting the energies back from the discard pile, but how do we get them in hand? That's where two copies of the Urton Vessel come into play. These will be able to fetch energies from uh, the deck nice and easily. And if you actually get knocked out during the opponent's last turn, you can even get three energies with the Letter of Encouragement. Easy searchable uh, uh, by the means of Irida or the Cryptomaniacs Deciphering. So I'm actually playing two copies of Urton Vessel and one copy of, of course, the, uh, yeah, uh, Letter of Encouragement. All right, moving forward, we're gonna be having some more one-off item cards. There's gonna be a one-off switch. This can actually be super useful in situations where you happen to start with Palkia V, but also could help uh, to, of course, use coin bonus, switch another coin bonus. That's actually where the switch comes into play most of the time. Then there's Super Rod, getting back some of your resources. Super helpful, of course, to uh, get back maybe a Greninja once more or a Goldango when you've discarded more, uh, some of them with something like a Pokestab. Then the most powerful combo in the game, Prime Catcher as your Ace Pack card of choice and uh, the Castling Cologne. You can get both of these really easily with the help of Cryptomaniacs Deciphering, putting them on top of the deck, use Coin Bonus and draw them out. So uh, that combo with Radiant Greninja is going to be so, so powerful. And then the stadium of choice, three copies of Pokestop. You no longer need to worry about playing something like a worker as your draw supporter. I think three Pokestop is now sufficient. No more path to the peak. So we are uh, a happy, happy uh, cheese stick with <laughs> that Goldango. So that's going to be sufficient to, of course, uh, draw a little bit deeper into the deck because a lot of these items are uh, useful with Pokestop. And then to end the uh, deck profile, we're going to be playing four copies of Metal Energies. These are going to be uh, sufficient as you are able to find them with Earth and Vessel and the Letter of Encouragement. And uh, you can recover them time and time again with Superior Energy Retrieval. And then we're going to be playing seven copies of the Water Energies. These are going to be helpful to power up Radiant Greninja, but also going to be helping to uh, have the Make It Rain attacks dish out more damage. And of course, yeah, you can use it to attack with Palkia V-Star as well. 
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Goldango EX deck post rotation. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in so many ways. I cannot underestimate that. And I am always super grateful if you would do that. Then check out my sponsors for today's video. We have dragonshield.com. Get 5% off using the coupon code ZAPDOS5 over at dragonshield.com. There is also uh, europlaymat.com to create your own custom playmat. Uh, link down below to get 10% off. And there's potownstore.com for all your TCG live needs. Link Link down below. Also, big shout out to cartmarket.com. Go use the referral name Zablo's TCG and help support the channel. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day and let me know which deck you want to be seeing up next over here on these temporal forces deck profiles. Thanks for watching. Peace.